Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. Today we're going to talk about... <laughs> I love that sound effect. <laughs> Preserve jars versus kegs. Let's start with the strawberries. So what we're going to do here is we've basically two sheds. One shed is filled up at the top with preserve jars. The second shed is filled up at the top with kegs. We're going to put the strawberry here with a base price of 120 gold into the preserve jars. So we're going to further process it. We're also going to do the same with the second shed. We're going to fill up the kegs with strawberries. And by the time both of these machines have finished processing all the crops, we're going to sell them and we're going to compare the price. And we're also going to compare how long it took you know, to further process this item. And then in the end, we'll see you know, what's better. Is it worth putting these in the kegs or should you just keep putting it into preserve jars? So let's find out. So today's the 18th now. We waited a couple of days. We're going to go back into the first shed here now, filled up to the top with preserve jars, and we're going to harvest our lovely strawberries. So we're going to get back strawberry jellies from the preserve jars, and from the kegs we're going to get back strawberry wines. So it's worth noting here that a wine takes 6.25 days to process where a jelly will take about two to three days. So we just got back all our jellies there now. And as we can see, the kegs aren't finished, so we have to sleep a few more days. So that's one of the, you know, that's one of the things with kegs. If you're making any sort of wine, it's gonna be 6.25 days, regardless. Unless you put some lovely fairy powder on it, but that's an in-game item. <laughs> kegs, you get these at level 8 farming. It's not something you're going to have at the start of the game unless you went to absolute town on farming for the you know for the first season of spring. Preserved jars, however, you get at level 4, so you will get your hands on the jars much earlier in the game. So let's sell all of these items now and see what we get. So we're going to go to sleep now here now, and let's see the profits. 89,050 gold. That's a shed filled up to the top with wines and jellies. 360 gold for the wine, 290 gold for the jelly. So in short term, go with the preserve jars. In the long run, if you've got loads of crops, go with the kegs. Next, we have ancient fruit. Ancient fruit can be gotten from getting the artifact ancient fruit and you hand it into Gunther, he gives you the recipe. Uh, ancient To get the recipe or to get the ancient fruit, um, you know, starting off, your best bet is to go up into the mountain area and go into the mines and start farming the insects in the mines. They, they, I think they have like a not a 0.5% chance to drop it. So get it eventually. Or is it 5% chance? Even though in the comments, as you can see here, I've got to fill up a cake. And I'm pretty sure this has happened to every single player that has ever played Stardew Valley, where you filled up a shed with kegs or preserve jars. You load them all up with the goods and you forget one or two. And the whole thing is that is when you do forget, but you don't realise it, it sticks out like a sore thumb when everything is then processed. You know, it's like this, it's like this keg over in the corner that doesn't have anything in it, this isolated keg. And you feel so sorry for it. <laughs> or maybe that's just how I feel about things, you know, I'm a very sensitive person. So we're going to process all of our lovely ancient fruit wines, and we've just processed our ancient fruit jellies, so we're going to sell them all now and see what we get. I didn't even know until recently you can actually put ancient fruit into a preserve jar. And I've been playing this game for a very long time. I did not know you could have ancient fruit jellies. But sure, look, that's Stardew Valley for you. Nobody knows everything. <laughs> So let's look at the huge profits, 383,600 gold, 1650 for the wine, 1150 for the jelly, but the wine takes twice as long to process over the jelly. So, you know, it's like it's like the strawberries, you know, if, if, if you've got the kegs, if you've got the time, put them into kegs. If you're doing a challenge, you want to make money fast, put them into the preserve jars. Next up, we have the blueberries with a selling price of 50 gold. Now. Blueberries can be processed into blueberry wine and blueberry jelly. So the same rules apply here for the blueberries. The wine's gonna take 6.25 days, where the jelly's gonna take about two or three days. So again, it's double the processing time, you know, to make wine. So we're gonna sleep a couple of days here now. As per usual, we're gonna go back into the sheds, we're gonna collect all of our lovely jellies. So a general rule of thumb, if you are playing this game and if you are harvesting blueberries on your farm, try to make some preserve jars at least, just to get some extra money out of them. Because like the strawberries, the blueberries, you know, they'll turn over for you every time you harvest them. You won't have to plant new ones. And you can accumulate 
hundreds of blueberries at the end of summer if you you know if you plant a lot of them so we're just going to set everything here now and see what we get back into bed so this is very interesting now when it comes to uh, the blueberries and you, if you've never done this before you probably won't see this coming but the jelly and the wine are worth the exact same amount so in terms of profit always use the preserve jars for these ones do not put them into cakes unless you need wine specifically for some sort of quest or community center bundle and all you have are blueberries next up we have beets so basically with the beets we're going to get uh, juice and we're going to get pickles because beets you know it's a veg it's a vegetable item so we're going to load up all these kegs again now as per usual with the beets we're going to wait a couple of days we're going to steep and we're going to check out the profits and what's very interesting here is that because it's a vegetable it's going to generate pickles if it wasn't the vegetable, if it was a fruit, you know, it would have generated jelly. So that's the difference between fruit and vegetables in this game. The vegetables generate pickles and the fruit gener generate jelly. So we've just got a big load of pickled beets there now. And we're also going to get beet juice. So we're going to sell all this stuff. So again, you know, as per usual, a great tip here for you is that if you are processing beets try to process them try to process them further because you will get a lot more money from putting these into the uh, kegs or putting these into the preserve jars so let's see what we get back here now lots of money from the beets 65,075 gold let's check out the drop down 250 gold for the pickled beet 225 gold for the beet juice and considering that the um you know the juice it takes four days you know you'd expect that you'd get you'd get a larger profit for that so for the beets stick to the reserve jars for that one that's my advice next up we have the hops now the things with the hops are you can make pale ale from hops and you can also make pickles from hops so let's see what the price comparisons are for these ones no we don't want to eat the hop we want to process it has that ever happened to you have you tried to uh you know put a food into a processing machine but you've eaten it by accident <laughs> i did so once and I, I did so with an ancient fruit. Uh, I was I was trying to put it into a seed machine. And uh, all I can say is I ended up starting my day. <laughs> so let's get on into the shed here now and see what we're going to get. So pickled hops. And I didn't even know these were a thing you know, until a few weeks ago when I, when I started doing some research on preserved jars and kegs. It just never occurred to me to put the things like this into a into a preserve jar or a keg but sure look it is what it is we're gonna get lots of pale ales here now pam's not gonna get any of these we're selling these pam gets nothing i mean i to get her a job she drives a bus now you know what more can you ask for if someone got me a job i'd be very grateful off to sleep we go let's check out the prices pale ale or pickles as we can see, the pale ale goes for three times the amount the pickles go for. 300 gold. Pickles only go for 100 gold. So, considering the amount of time it takes to process, my advice, put the beets into a keg and brew that lovely pale ale. Definitely. And last, we're going to talk about wheat. Now, I mean, I could go through every single food item, you know, in the game, but just I mean, check out the Wikipedia. I just wanted to show more, you know, I just wanted to show kind of more of the interesting items, especially items that are very common and what people use a lot. The great thing about wheat is that you can plant this in summer and it will last through fall, and that means you don't have to hoe up your whole farm again if you time it right. So there's a great tip about wheat for you. <laughs> wheat can be converted into beer, and it can also be converted into pickles because wheat is a vegetable. So let's go into the shed here now and we're going to get all our lovely pickles. Pickled wheat. Never heard of it in my life. Up until a few weeks ago. <laughs> Pickled wheat. I mean, have you ever seen a YouTube video where, where somebody grows or somebody processes pickled wheat? <laughs> I haven't. And we have lovely beer. Shane loves beer. I missed a keg there. Uh, and as you can see, it kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. You know, I missed a keg at 136. Oh no, I got 137. Maybe I didn't. I thought I missed it, but I didn't. <laughs> That's what happens when you record at 1 o'clock in the morning. 
Anyway, <laughs> let's listen and see what we get. I'm a bit of a night owl, to be honest. I'm more active at night than I am during the day. 200 gold for the bear, 100 gold for the pickled wheat. So, you know, you get, you get double the profit for the bear. So I suppose I'd probably just use the cakes for that one. So when to use cakes, all fruit above 50 gold. All high price vegetables, hops and wheat. Preserve bin, all fruit 50 gold and below. All middle and low grade vegetables. That's kind of a general tool rum as when, as when you should be using that. So I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll upload the next Stardew Valley video in the next day or two. So stay tuned for that. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day.